I'm Keep Jewel, and this is Comic Smack, your weekly, daily, all the time, anytime comic show where I give you your fix of everything you need to know from the world of comic books and superheroes. And on today's show, we are taking a closer look at Detective Comics number 973 with Clayface on a rampage. The Bat Family will need to make a difficult decision on how to properly stop, and what'll happen next? Well, let's hop on in together and find out. Okay then, so this issue actually opens up with a flashback. We get to see Tim Drake and Batman when they first established the Belfry. They were both really excited about the prospect of bringing Clayface onto the team. Not only because it marked a shift in how the Bat family normally fights crime, what with now focusing on rehabilitation and second chances, but it also allowed Tim to stretch his big brain. What with using some of Basil's clay to help build the training room inside the Belfry, the Mud Room. Unfortunately though, the Mud Room idea would end up biting the entire team in the ass as the first victim hoped to use this knowledge to get Clayface to reabsorb all of his old clay and freak the hell out. He's now unfortunately grown to kaiju size and with a body that big and a brain that small he's not really in control of what he's doing anymore. This of course was all part of the first victim's bigger plan to have Clayface be outed as a member of the Bat family before hurting a bunch of people to further discredit the team. Shocking it's Anarchy the first victim's partner in crime who takes major offense to this, especially when the monster tramples a bunch of protesters that Anarchy had whipped up into a fervor in the first place. Lonnie might be an extremist, but in his heart of hearts he still views himself as a good guy, and as such he takes it upon himself to stop the first victim while the Bat family deals with Clayface. First up, Azriel and Batwing decide to take a crack at it, I mean they gotta get their win back after getting beaten up in the previous issue, and the issues before that, and you know what, actually they get beaten up a lot. Essentially Luke scrambles a series of Batwing armors that are all all remote controlled by Azriel's weird AI brain. It unfortunately does not do the trick. Oops, chop up another loss for the undynamic duo, shall we? Now Batwoman has her own plan. She got a gun from her father in the colony in the previous issue, one that would be able to stop Clayface once and for all. Obviously Batman doesn't want to murder, but at the same time even their best bet for helping Basil and stopping Clayface isn't going to be a 100% fix. You see, the Bat Family scientist friend, Dr. Victoria October, has whipped up a serum that she believes will help Basil Carlo regain his human form. Well, for a bit at least, you see, it's tricky. There's more clay now than there ever was before. And jolting him back to his human form is going to cause him to have to reconstitute more than he ever has before, and that's not going to be good for his brain. Orphan, aka Basil's best friend and vice versa, is more than happy to throw herself into the fray if it means potentially saving her buddy. With her help, he does manage to regain his human form for a little bit at least, when he looks out on the destruction and all the people he very well could have killed or possibly did kill, he's understandably horrified. It's for all these reasons and more, it seems like that he begins to lose his grasp on humanity again and threatens to transform, but we'll never exactly know for sure because on the rooftop across the way, it looks like Batwoman decided to ignore Batman's orders and take the shot anyway. And so that was Detective Comics, everybody. Overall, I think this continued Ballad of Clayface storyline is really being well received, by me at least. There's a real palpable sadness to see Basil Carlo come so far in his development to really reach for that heroic brass ring only to have circumstance knock him back down again. Also, if they follow through on it, this could be a really huge moment in the character of Batwoman too. In fact, if the solicitations are to be believed, it looks like she's taking Batwing and Azriel and going to reform the colony. Hmm, interesting. This could leave some opening on the current Belfry Bat family team that could easily be filled by some other Gotham notables. In fact, I don't think it's too out of the realm of possibility with Anarchy kind of doing a bit of a face turn here in this issue that he could very well join the team. Overall, Detective Comics continues to be engrossing, compelling stuff, and overall I would give it a very well-deserved 8 out of 10. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. And if you like the video, chances are you'll like some of these similar videos as well that you can follow me on Twitter and Facebook, at Cape Joel, so you always know what I got coming out next. And hey, if you're in the market for some comic books, don't want to pay a cent for shipping and help me out at the same time, then please, next time you buy a comic, buy it using my book depository link down in the description. And until next time, everyone, this has been Cape Joel. Thank you so much for watching and listening, and I'll see you all again next time. Bye bye